Hello and welcome to a short video which will show you how to use the USB serial output on your Raspberry Pi Pico. Using a serial monitor over USB means that you can essentially output data from your Pico to your PC. It is a very similar process to using the serial monitor on your Arduino if you are familiar with this. In this tutorial we are going to modify our Blink LED code that we made in our previous video, linked in the cards above. We are going to output a string over USB to further indicate when the LED is on or off. Obviously you can use the technique I described here to print whatever you want in your projects to the serial port. As always the source code written here is available from my website linked in the video description. I am working on a Windows machine and so we will need some kind of serial monitor application to monitor the COM port that the Pico will communicate over. I will use PuTTY and you can download it from their website linked in the description. You can also use the Arduino IDE serial monitor if you have it already installed. So let's open Visual Studio Code. Open a developer command prompt by using the Windows search. Then open Visual Studio Code using the code command. Navigate to the folder where you have stored your project. If you haven't already set one up, then follow the tutorial in the cards above, which will show you how to get started setting up a project. The first change we need to do is in the CMake lists file. We need to tell the compiler that we're going to be using the USB output and to disable the UART output. This is done with the Pico enable stdio USB function and then the name of your executable with a 1 after it to enable it. Our executable here is Blink LED. To disable the UART output, use the Pico enable stdio UART function. Use a 0 after the executable to disable it. We can now save and close this file and our project should now reconfigure. In our C file, we need to include the stdio header file at the start. The first action we need to do in our main function is to call the function stdio init all. Then we can head into our infinite loop and after turning the LEDs on, I want the Pico to send a message over the serial port indicating to the computer or to the viewer that the LEDs are on. We do this simply with the printf function with the string that we want to send in quotations. In our case, I will simply say LED on. We finish the string with a new line operator so each message is printed on a new line in the serial monitor. I will repeat this after we've turned off the LEDs. I will also increase the delay slightly. The printf function can be used to send a variety of information through the serial output, such as variables. It is extensively documented as it is a very common function in C, so if you are interested in doing this, you can find out lots of information online. Now we are ready to build the project. Press the build button on the bottom taskbar and you should see it build without errors. If you open the build directory with Windows Explorer, you will see the UF2 file that we need to use to program the board. Let's check if it works. Connect your Pico over USB whilst pressing its boot select button. Simply drag and drop the UF2 file over to the Pico storage. It will reboot and start blinking. Now you need to find out which COM port your Pico is connected to. You can simply open Device Manager, then expand the Ports section. You should see your Pico connected to a COM port. Now open your serial monitor of choice. I'm using PuTTY. Select the port you just discovered in your PuTTY window with a board rate of 115,200 and open the monitor. You should now see your output in the window. Hopefully this video has helped you learn how to use the Pico's USB serial output in your own projects. If you have any comments, do please leave them below in the description. Thank you for watching and if this video has been helpful, then consider liking and subscribing.